first you would get mad In these streets, but now you don't get mad Cause now you know me And stuck up my cheese Girl, ain't no need to worry Cause now you got me At first you would get mad Cause I was fuck around in these streets But now you don't get mad Cause now you know me I'm tryna get this bag That stack up my cheese Girl, ain't no need to worry Cause now you got me You know how I do You know I got you Girl, ain't no need to worry You know you my boo You know how I do You know I got you Girl, ain't no need to worry What's good? We back with another Smoke Sessions with Grizz. To those who are new to the channel, because I know we got a lot of new subscribers. If you type in and you like, what is Smoke Sessions with Grizz? Smoke Sessions with Grizz is basically like where I catch up on what's going on in my real life and just what I got planned, what's coming to the channel, how I'm feeling mentally. Why? Just basically a check in with y'all, my real people that's actually subbed in and like tapped in. You know what I'm saying? So. Make sure you grab your lighters, your blunts, your bongs, your papers, whatever you are smoking that good with. Today we got some, um, what is this? Um, grease monkey. And we got some butter, buttermilk biscuits, number eight. Buttermilk biscuits, number eight, Ross. We'll be getting into, so make sure y'all light up and chunk in. And, um, we go, let me get my topics pulled up. Here we go. We gonna get this thing cooking. Let's get it. On the road to 10K. By the time y'all see this, it won't be my birthday, but we're so close to 10K. If you could, if you want to get me stuff for my birthday, cash app is down below. Or if you want to, you can just subscribe and say happy birthday, Grace. I subscribe. That'll still mean a lot to me. I will be hitting 10K before this year is over. You can bet your ass on that. Might not be my birthday, but it will be before this year is over. I promise you that. So make sure y'all sub up and support this free. Let's get it. Ah, man. The boy's about to be 27. I guess we'll kick it off talking about my birthday, man. The boy's gonna be 27, man. Damn, it's crazy. I ain't never thought I'd make it at this stage. To be honest with y'all, just the circumstances, what I was getting into and just growing up, bro. I never, I didn't think about 27, bro. My dad didn't even make it to 27, literally. Um, so I never really thought that we we here or we're not here we got two more days but ain't nothing about to happen to grace so yeah man it's just it's just crazy man and i'm still I told you i'm still learning more about myself still discovering myself i'm still growing still learning bro and it's beautiful bro i like this little journey that i'm on right now though so i'm just trying to I'm just trying to make it bro i'm just trying to make it out of this nine to five grind bro to a point where I'm doing what I love and want to do. That's all I want to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? Whether if I'm doing that rich or doing that financially stable, I just want to chase my dreams, my real dreams, and, and make something and see how far this can go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're going to be 27. I'm not really planning nothing. This year, I wasn't really in a birthday mood, sir, say, because y'all know I'm trying to I'm about to get a car, so, which will be the next topic, but, we about to get a car, and I'm just trying to... There's still stuff that I want, too, bro. Like, it's just hard, bro. Like, it's hard, because... You know what I mean? You're trying to make sure this household and everything else is stable, but at the same time, you want to live your life. You want to do stuff. You want to have fun. I feel like that's the hardest, really, thing about life. Like, of course, yeah, it's important to take care of your responsibilities, but at one point, it's like, when is it time for me to really enjoy myself, have fun, and not be out here stressing about shit, you know? But... It's cool, man. I'm not like I said. I'm not doing that for my birthday, though. I was supposed to have a smoke out today, but um, I haven't heard from nobody, so I don't know, bro. I'm cool, and at the same time, I'm not even really mad to be honest with you. Usually, if this was like last year, so I'd have been pissed, bro. It is what, bro. I'm done like begging for people to, you know what I'm saying, or for people to show love. I'm done doing that, bro. I'm 27, about soon to be 27. I'm not begging for nobody's attention, begging nobody to show me love, begging nobody to support me. It's over with. It's either you do or you don't. And whichever one you choose, I'm going to act accordingly with either one that you choose. You feel me? So, 
it is what it is. I'm not, um, I'm just cool. And then plus, I really wanted to record because I didn't record nothing yesterday. Like, all today I was recording when I went to the mall with my brothers and sisters. That was kind of cool. But yeah, man, we turned to 27, man. And I'm, I don't feel old, though, man. I feel good. I feel like I still got a lot more to go. And I'm still going to keep grinding, man. I'm going to keep grinding. I've got to know that, man. But, um, yeah, stories only going to get better. Things only going to get better. Y'all just got to stay tuned and keep tapping in. Because the best is yet to come, literally. 27. 28 is going to be crazy. I ain't going to lie. My birthday after this one, this next one, I got to go stupid. Just because these, like, past couple years, I haven't done shit, haven't traveled, done nothing. I've never traveled for my birthday yet. I was supposed to, but ended up not going. We got to turn up for 28. But next year is going to be a whole different story. And I plan to be in a whole different situation, hopefully. Hopefully shit's looking up, you know what I'm saying? But this is what's going on. Next. I guess a life mental update, you know what I'm saying? Mentally, I ain't gonna lie, this, this past little couple weeks of August, this uh, this month in general, August has just been kind of hard. This has been dealing with some stuff mentally, but I think I'm fine. I just gotta, I just gotta stay down, bro. Y'all know I'm not one to tell people my problems or talk about my problems, because at the end of the day, I just feel like, unless it's about them, people really don't give me. They don't really care. You'll find a rare few that actually do care, but the majority really don't care. Like, they'll hear you out. But do they care about what you're talking about? No. So I just keep, but you know what I mean? It's just been a hard kind of month. I'm still pushing through. I'm saying never give it up. Just this month. Just, it didn't really go plan how I wanted it to. So I was just a little upset. You know what I'm saying? I stopped working out. So I, gotta, I just got to get back right first, honestly. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said. After my birthday, after this month, start with September. You know I'm saying we're back working out every day. You know what I'm saying we're watching what we eat, even though I do watch what I eat. I don't eat junk food at all. I mean, I do grab stuff, but it's for the weekend. Like, I don't literally eat snacks and stuff for the weekend. You know what I'm saying? I go to the store, give me some gummy sharks, give me some honey barbecue Frito twist. That's my joint. Grab me something to drink, snap, and I'm Gucci. That's it. It's not like I just be eating snacks 24 7. Don't do that. So, but I've been slacking. And I'm not where I'm at weight wise. Wanna be. You know what I'm saying? We still cool, but I want I expect it to be by this, by my birthday, I expect it to be someone completely, you know what I'm saying? Different than where we at. So we gotta get we just gotta get back on it, but I'm gonna get everything together. It's just you know, it's just a me thing, you know what I'm saying? But I got this, you know, I always kick it. I always snap back, you know what I'm saying? I always, always do so. Yeah, that's the little life update. But mentally, we cool. Work, work is still going good. You know what I'm saying? Don't got no complaints about that. Um, I've been playing my Steam Deck like crazy, bro. I really, listen, bro, I really, <clears throat> really love the Steam Deck, bro. That's all I've been on. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've been, that's why I wasn't posting either. Like, because I was on my Steam Deck, bro. I love that thing, bro. The fact that I could play one of my favorite systems growing up, Game Boy Advance. I already got like 90 Game Boy Advance games on there already. Like, it's crazy. And I also got PS2, Game Boy. I got Wii, Nintendo DS, GameCube, and PSP. Um, I got all of those, but mainly I'm on Game Boy. That was my favorite console growing up. Like, everything, bro. Like, my first traumatic, something traumatic happened to me was because of the Game Boy Advance. Like, bro, all of that shit, bro. So. I love that Steam Deck, bro. I'm trying to I'm gonna figure out soon how to stream off of it. And once I do that, bro, it is up, man. I can't wait. We're gonna do a lot with the Steam, man. It's gonna be with me everywhere. I can't lie. Um, next, the type of love, man. Talk about the whip ski, man. We about to switch it up and switch to the happy code. We got the wizard attached to it this time. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but. Next is the car update. We will be getting a car before the end of September, so and that is solid. I can stamp that. I'm actually very excited. I'm happy. I'm ready. I'm really kind of. I don't know. Like it's bittersweet, bro, because it just means it's another fucking bill that I have to pay, which means the insurance and the, the car payment. You know what I'm saying? It's just like 
It's a little stressful, but in a way, I feel like it's going to push me up and not make me go harder. And also, I could do Uber Eats and all the, you know, all the, there's a million ways to make money with a car than with no car. You feel me? Once you have a car, I feel like it's way more easier for funds to just come to you because you can just get up and go. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it is kind of bittersweet. I really, to be honest with y'all, if y'all had to ask me, do I want a car? I really don't. Bro. I'm cool, but at the same time, bro. Y'all know sometimes girls could be impatient. I'm waiting on Ubers or just waiting for a ride. Or sometimes you go on the app and the, and it's hot, the fear is high as hell. You got to wait like five, ten minutes. It might end up making you late. Like, it's just like, you know, it's a little annoying. And I kind of miss just being able to just get up and go. I do miss that feeling of just, oh, what? You, you about to do what? All right, I'm out of here. And then when it's time for me to go, guess what? I can just go home. I ain't got to wait for nobody to come get me. I ain't gotta, you know, it's just different, bro. It's just different. So I had to really think about that because in the back of my mind, I really, I was, I was gonna chase my mind and not even get a car. But because I still get around fine without one. So it's like, well, I, you know, now if I was out here hurt, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I had no way I wasn't taking Uber, none of that shit, then it's like it makes sense. But I get around fine, bro. I don't, and I don't really go nowhere anyway. So. If I do, I pop out with the fam, man. Nine times out of 10, they got a car, so, you know? Pitching on some gas, I'm good. <laughs> so, but yeah, car is coming, man. I mean, I'm excited. I don't know what type of car I'm gonna get. I'm not probably gonna get what I, what I thought I was gonna get before, but it's still something, bro. It's still got four wheels, and it's still gonna get us to where we need to go. So, that's all that matters. I'm excited about that. It's, like I said, bittersweet, bro. I kind of don't want to, but I want to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, next. I want to talk to y'all about the merch. Merch is coming back, man. I want to do some more hoodies again. Probably won't go somewhere different, like supplier to get the hoodies done. Hold on. Probably will go somewhere different to like get, get the uh, get this stuff done. See if somebody could do maybe do it um, stitched on and see what it looks like stitched on and stuff like that. Go for there. Just up the quality on the, on the uh, merch hoodies. Hopefully some of y'all new subscribers, you know what I'm saying, check out the merch. You know what I'm saying? I will probably show y'all hoodie or pop up. You know, if you if you see my logo, just picture that on the color hoodie. <laughs> you know? Just picture the logo on the color hoodie. But I wanna do probably different versions or something. I don't know, man. Y'all give me some ideas because I do got some, but I don't know, bro. Mm. And also, I wanted to do merch for the smoke uh for this uh for the grizzly smokes, man. I wanted to figure out a way to make some. I wanted to make some trays for y'all, some some uh, trays, some grinders, and, you know, even papers. You know what I'm saying? Maybe give y'all some raw papers, but change the design of it to make it look like me. Obviously, no, nah, that sounds crazy. Cause yeah, that's still no. Nah, we ain't doing that last one. I'm sure. But yeah, not papers, but. Like grinders, you know, trays, ashtrays, stuff like that. I want to do that. I got to figure out, I want to get a logo for Grizzly Smokes, but I just got to figure out what I, maybe a Grizzly Bear hitting the, hitting the blunt or a Grizzly Bear surrounded by smoke or something or, or a Grizzly Bear, me, like the logo, and then under it, Grizzly Smokes and Smoke or I don't know, some crazy, it got to be something crazy, something that we could really just slap on any and everything. It gotta go up, but um, that is coming. I'm excited for my for the fam because my fam actually does cop like my mom, my brothers and sisters, and my grandma. Them off five for them. Who else grabbed one? That paid my cousin Dede. He grabbed one. I think that's it. Yeah, they grabbed the hoodie. That's it, including family. So yeah, they all copped, and I know for sure no cop a kid. And the friends and family, it's gotta be crazy. Like I might, um, whoever grabs, grabs and say they're gonna grab it. I'm trying to maybe put their initials in there, either their name or saying initials with their favorite color. You know what I'm saying? Do something a little nice. I don't know, bro. I'm just trying to think outside the box and really push myself. So stay tuned for that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta start writing some notes and stuff for that, but for sure. And I gotta start doing homework. 
on that stuff too. So just stay tuned. We'll be ready for that. Next, man, we're talking about the winter and the fall plans, man. I'm super, bro, I'm super excited for the fall. That's when I really go, like, you know what I'm saying? That's when I'm going to feel like me. That's when I probably pop out because I ain't going to lie. After my birthday, we probably going like, I probably won't see another, um, so won't see another like vlog or grizzly update. Y'all see vlogs, but y'all won't see another smoke sessions until probably like I get my car or something or until something like really major happens. Like y'all probably ain't going to see or hear about what's going on unless you look at the vlogs and shit. But, but yeah, it's going to get real crazy. I'm excited for the fall, man. Cause it's one of my, it's my favorite season, bro. I really wish I was born in the fall. I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. I just love the fall. I love the colors. I love the leaves. I love, you know, hoodie seed, bro. I love that shit, bro. I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. I'm saying I really wish I was born in uh, uh, the fall, but yeah, man, I got, I'm trying to travel too. Y'all know basketball season is about to come back. Yes, sir. We finna be right back out. I'm trying to hit every Cleveland game down there. All the banging ones. I'm trying to go to the Chicago to see my Bulls. Y'all know I got to see Brian and the Lakers. So. Yeah, bro, it's it's gonna be lit, and then Steeler games too. I really want to go. Y'all know our, our my city is home of the Pittsburgh Steelers, the NFL team. And I'm saying I, I believe we got six rings, but um, yeah. So I, I want to go to a game one time before it get cold as hell. I can't go to no game when it's in the dead winter. I don't know how people be doing that next to that river. Hell no, bro. Way too cold. But um, yeah, I'm trying to do, bro. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to make memories this fall good memories family memories i know my brother's home so i'm just excited but we out we out we already talking about planning for a family vacation next year which is going to be lit we talking putacana bro oh my gosh i can't wait bro i can't wait so much stuff is happening like not of my family's whole and settled it's gonna get real i'm saying finna get real so Winter fall is going to be lit, man. It's going to be lit, man. And definitely going to hit some dispensaries. Very, 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 some other ones out of state. Like I told y'all very soon. I'm actually thinking about going to, uh, LA Comic Con. I'm still thinking about it. The tickets is on sale and I, I, and they still available. I really want to go, but I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, uh, it's hard, bro. I really want to go. Y'all let me know if I should go or not. I don't know. I don't know. But it's a lot coming, bro. I'll be stupid, fry. I'm already. Y'all know what I get to talking. That's what I'll be up there. I'm up there. I'm up. I'm up there. <sighs> but um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man. And finally, probably the last thing we're going to talk about. Because I feel like I done touched on everything I wanted to touch on thing so we got an update on the tank man unfortunately y'all we have lost some members of the tank first of all rp my boy rocket he jumped out of the tank man boy rocket jumped out of the tank man rp rocket in the comments rocket jumped out the fucking tank bro excuse my language i'm trying to stop cursing on youtube and stuff like that so i'm really trying to you know when when we monetize, when we get when we hit 10k and I start putting all them ads on every single, we gotta be there and see the green every time. <laughs> you feel me? So I'm trying to clean it up, but um, yeah, but he jumped out the tank, bro. He was so scared when I brought them clownfish in. Like I don't, and they wasn't even messing with them. Like I don't know, maybe I don't know if I feel like it would have been worse if I put the clownfish in first than him. You know what I mean? Because then they, I don't know if how aggressive they'd have been towards him. So. I don't know. To my regulation, I didn't see them messing with Rocket or doing anything to Rocket, to be honest, which was why I was so surprised that he did it. Because once he found he found a little spot, it was near like where the water comes out, like the overflow comes out of the tank to get like rinsed and recycled and all of that shit. He was near there. He was just cooling over there. But I guess he just had enough or they, I don't know, bro. Like I said, that time that he jumped out, I wasn't even home. Like I was gone. I was recording with my cousins down there all day. Travis Scott dropped this album. Like I was, I was busy. My boy jumped out the damn tank, bro. Sad, bro. So sad. And uh, we lost two 
We lost to um to Corals too. We lost to um um to um one of my favorite the um Euphilia, the hammer corals. We lost a peach and we lost the very first one that we bought that was doing so good, bro. It was doing so good. I don't know honestly what happened. Like, I don't know. The water, I, the water has been changing because it's been getting a little hotter. And I've been trying to keep the air on, but that just makes the heater kick on. I don't know if that, I don't know if it was the temperature. I don't know, but we lost two of them, but we still have two doing good. We still got all of our Zoas doing good. And they're open back up. The Bam Bam was closed for so long. Bam Bam's back open. I can see Bam Bam. And the ones that I stuck to the wall, the Safe Cracker, Bob Marley, and I think the the green, I forgot what they sent me. It was a freebie though. It was a pally though. They are all doing good and they all have multiple heads now, which means they're growing. And I've been feeding them. I feed them every Saturday. Every Saturday is part of my little maintenance for the tank because I scrape all the algae out. At first, I feed them. I feed the fish. Then I feed the coral. Then I scrape the algae out. And then I um do a water change. Siphon the gravel, put the water in. That's just how we do it, man. That's what we've been doing. But I love the tank, man. I love, I love my tank, man. I love it. I like looking, looking at it. You know what I'm saying? It's just a cool thing to have, and I can't wait to have more. We are only doing three tanks, though. I've come to conclusion. I just don't want to be doing that because I don't want to be stressed out or out just thinking, being scared. And like I told y'all, I plan on being out moving. Doing a lot, so I don't want to have people over here lost and ending up killing my fish and all type of shit like that. I don't want that to happen at all. Like, I'd be sick. You know what I'm saying? These fish cost money, bro. I'm not getting this stuff for free. <laughs> so um, yeah, but I, I love my tank. I got a I got a five gallon right here. So we technically have three tanks, but when I meant we getting three tanks, I meant three big tanks. I'm only getting three big tanks. We got the fifteen. We got the 20 gallon where we're going to put the fresh water in. Then we're going to get a 45 or 60 gallon um, salt water. And that's it, bro. That's it, dude, bro. That's it. We done, bro. We done. And I'll probably be in the room, too, because don't nobody come over anyway. I definitely thought about putting one in the living room, but it's like, for what? I don't even be in here. So <laughs> why would I have put one in here? Like, I'm not even going to see it. Them fish will feel like abandoned. You know what I'm saying, but so we just rocking out. When we got fresh water, its tank is getting set up soon. Actually, this upcoming week, this week I will be grabbing the um stuff for the substrate for, it, and I'll be grabbing the stand and maybe the water too. And then, honestly, once I do that, we could probably just start throwing plants in there and then start putting fish in there. You know what I'm saying so, y'all stay tuned for the Grizzly Aquatics. That's about to come. I love doing that, bro. I, I love this new little hobby. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Grizz is a gamer. I can cook. I do YouTube. I got a fish hobby. I love like, you know, like games and stuff. I love basketball. You know what I'm saying? I love weed. <laughs> I love shoes. I love clothes, street wear. That's just my style, bro. That's just me. That's us. All those things make up Grizz. And music, I love music. All those things together make up grids, man. No cap. Without any of those things, there ain't no grids, man. I'll be doing all of that stuff. And comic books, too. You got to throw the comic books and the Marvel and DC in there, too. All of that stuff make me. Without none of that stuff, there won't be me. I'll be 80 years old, still reading comics, playing video games, smoking weed, watching basketball. All of that. <laughs> But um, I feel like that's it. We covered everything. Appreciate you. If you stay through and watch this video all the way through, I bust with you. Appreciate you talking about man. For real, man. For real. It's kind of a tough time, but I'm sucking it up and I'm just owning it. You know what I'm saying? We all been there. Though. You just make, sometimes you make bad decisions and you just got to learn with those decisions. And that's what I'm dealing with right now. That's kind of why I'm in a funky mood, but you know what I'm saying? We grown and we own up to our stuff and we ain't nothing too big to keep us down. I'm saying we always going to be above whatever is keeping us down. I think I said that right. Y'all know I'm frat. I'm sorry. But we on the road to 10K, man. Stay tuned. I'm calling it 10K by the end of September. Big girls.